Welcome to Sacramento and Company. It's about home, food, and community. It's about style, entertainment, it's about living. We're Sacramento and Company. We're just hearing him. Hey, yeah. welcome to Sacramento and Company. There's a, there's a bagpiper over there. Yeah, and you know he's here to to celebrate your birthday. Of course. I, uh, it's I all about guys. I knew you were going to bring today. that up. It's his birthday. It's your birthday. We have to give you a hard time. Thank you. Yeah. Go ahead. Give it. Bring it. All right. All right. We'll bring it. <laughs> I'm Kristen Samos. This is Guy Ferris. It's his birthday. Happy birthday, Guy. Oh, thank you very much. All there right. it is, right on the screen. Well, on today's show, Guy's not the only one with a birthday. The neighboring city of Lodi is turning 100 years old. We've got that bagpiper in the house. There he is. Help celebrate both monumental occasions. And well, speaking of Lodi, which is considered the Zinfandel capital of the world, the city is turning the Big 100 this year, and in honor of that, they've got a year's worth of celebrations planned to commemorate this big anniversary. The, this weekend is the Heritage Celebration with an old-fashioned look at Lodi's past. Here with a rundown of events is Robert Gross and Larry Hansen. Thanks, Welcome, gentlemen, gentlemen, for being here. Thanks for having 100 us. 100 years young. Yes. Yeah. And a year of celebrating. That's what we should do for your birthday. A year a of whole celebrating. Year. Okay. A whole year. Whole year. Wow. As long as it's a year of presents too. Oh, right. There you go. Yeah. So what's going on this weekend? We uh, we just have a, a lot of things going on. Um, Saturday, uh, starting with the pancake breakfast. There's a car show. There's a photography uh, exhibit. Um, we're going to have um, a lot of tours of uh, Lodi and some of the historical events. There's going to be a high tea at the community center, a silent movie wow. uh, event at the community center. Sunday, our community band is going to be playing. There will be free uh, ice cream and a family picnic and just an opportunity to really celebrate our uh, centennial. So it's going to be all Lodi all the time. Yes. Okay. But I would imagine you don't have to be from Lodi to enjoy it, right? Correct. Oh, anybody's welcome. <laughs> now, uh, what should people know about Lodi? Maybe people who aren't from the area. Because, you know, a lot of people know Lodi from that old song, Stuck yes. in Lodi. Creedence Clearwater. <laughs> what do you who happened to perform this past weekend in Lodi? Oh, really? No yeah, kidding. Yeah, and they did a great job. Uh, you know, I think uh, Lodi is really established in itself as just a great... Uh, um, wine country. Uh, we're trying to really compete with Napa and our downtown. We have spent millions on our downtown and we have uh, a lot of outside uh, seating of restaurants, a lot of unique uh, shops, uh, shopping uh, experiences. The Wine and Roses uh, has really expanded over the years. Mm -hmm. It's a wonderful facility. Beautiful place. And uh, we're now starting to bring in uh, wine tasting into our downtown. Great. So uh, we're really trying to focus on providing an atmosphere where people can really come and enjoy the foundation that has supported Lodi, which is the wine industry. Now, we've been hearing some great bagpipe music throughout the show. Mm -hmm. What is the significance? Oh, this is a real treat. Uh, we have a bagpipe band that's going to be playing in the concert on Sunday evening, and we're going to do some of the old-fashioned British-style pipes and drum, brass band and drum music. You know, it's going to be really exciting. Very enjoyable. So a wider array of musical styles. Yes, so absolutely. is this the Lodi Community Band? Yes, uh-huh. How Lodi, long have they been around? Lodi Community Band's been around a long time, been 100 years anyway. Mm. And um, uh, don't forget that, too, on Saturday morning at 9 o'clock at the train station, we're going to have a kickoff ceremony for this celebration. That's right. The band will be playing there. And then again Sunday at 6. An old-fashioned locomotive uh, will be there. and. Uh, uh, kind of trolley cars to give people rides and just a really neat event and we would really love to just see uh, people come and visit us this weekend and kind of experience all the nuances of Lodi. Something for everyone it sounds mm -hmm. like and the Zinfandel capital of the world I hadn't heard that that's pretty exciting. That is exciting and uh, we've grown from about uh, eight wineries four years ago to over 60. Wow. So it is absolutely exploding and uh, it's fun to watch the competition between the different wineries and everybody's trying to come up with a little bit better product and you know the the people benefit from that so it's right. just uh, exciting to watch. 
Right. All right. So how can we find out uh, more information about the celebration? Well, uh, you can call uh, 33, uh, area code 209-333-6702, or you can go to our uh, website, which is www.lodi.com. Dot gov uh, forward slash 100. Okay. And, and the band great. also has a website. Okay. It's lodicommunityband.com. And everything is on that website, too. Excellent. Well, gentlemen, thank you so much for being here and Who's happy gonna, 100 years. Yes, happy thank you. 100 well, thanks for years. And us. we're going to hear some great bagpipe and music. Do you know what this gentleman's name is and what he's going to be playing? I don't know what he's going to do. This is Staff that. Sergeant Bill Tubbs. Okay. Staff Sergeant From the 91st Bill Tubbs. Division Band. All right. Thanks for joining us. Here's Sergeant Tubbs. Segments paid for by Furnishings provided by Naturewood Home Furnishings. Plasma television provided by Paradigm. Kitchen set provided by Kitchen Mart. Kristen's clothing provided by Blush. Guy's clothing provided by DV8.